For these questions, we're going to find a rule and finish the table. To find the rule, the rule is just the operation that's going to make the relationship on the table true. And a table is just a way to organize related data. Sometimes people call an input-output table a dependent table, and that's because the output depends on the input. Some people think about it as a machine. If this machine multiplied numbers by three, if you put a number into the machine, it would get multiplied by three and it would come out an 18. Well, this machine would have a rule to subtract seven. So if we put a 12 in, it's going to come out a five. And that's how input-output tables work. So let's look at some examples on how we would do it. On number one, the first thing we need to do is find the rule. So look at the table, and let's look at the inputs. If we put in a two, it's gonna come out a one. If we put in a 26, it's gonna come out a 13. Something is happening to the number between the input and the output, and that's the rule. I can see it's getting smaller, so there are only two operations it could be. It could be subtraction or it could be division. But the same rule has to apply to every pair of data. So this could be take away one. The rule could be minus one because two minus one is one. So that could be the rule. But it would also have to work for this one. Is 26 minus 1, 13? So this is not going to be a subtraction problem. This is going to have to be a division problem. So two divided by what is one? Well, two. Two divided by two is one. And it would also work 26 divided by two is 13. So the rule is divided by two. That is what's happening to the input to create the output. So to finish the table, you just look at the input, 20, and divide it by two. So 20 divided by two is 10. Six divided by two is three. So let's look at number two. On number two, we see that the outputs are getting bigger. So it's going to be addition or multiplication. So we have to ask ourselves, four plus what equals 40, or four times what equals 40? I know four times 10 equals 40. So I just need to check and make sure that rule works for all of the pairs. Is eight times 10 80? Yes, so we know our rule is going to be times 10. And then all we have to do is take our input, multiply it by 10, and that's going to give us our output. So 10 times 10 is 100, and two times 10 is 20. Let's do one more, number three. Number three, I can see that it's getting bigger again. So I know since it's getting bigger, it's going to be multiplication or addition. So I'm gonna ask myself, how do I get from one to three? I could add three, but I could also multiply by four. So I'm gonna to try to add three on the next one and see if that works. Is 15 plus three 18? And if it is, and you found two pairs that follow the same rule, you know that is the rule. So the rule for this table is plus three. So now all we have to do is take the inputs, add three to them, and we'll get the output. So nine plus three is 12. Five plus three is eight. All right, you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck.